<laughs> so YouTube back in my fucking you know reaction here. <laughs> Motherfucking playback. I faked orgasms for ten years. God damn your life suck. Why? Just why? 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 The real relationship. That chapter uh, is about uh, the fact that we got together. So yeah, she wrote a book. <laughs> I don't know what I'm, I'm kind of confused. Most young girls, and even many, many, many women, I'm sure so many women can relate, but you don't know how to achieve an orgasm. Yeah. A lot of women have no idea what it feels like to have an orgasm through sexual intercourse. You know, they know how to do it themselves, or they know how to... He was just like, okay. Through oral sex, but through sexual intercourse, a lot of women just don't know. Now, if you don't know, how do you expect your mother to know? Mm. I especially didn't. <laughs> so we would be intimate and he mm -hmm. just don't know how to put together so yeah. she wrote a book <laughs> I don't know what I'm kind of confused most young girls and you idea what it feels like to have an orgasm through sexual intercourse you know they know how to do it themselves or they know how to do it through oral sex but through sexual intercourse a lot of women just don't know now if you don't know how do you expect your man to know mm -hmm. I especially didn't know <laughs> so we would be intimate and he would be putting his best foot forward like he is in the business of satisfying just all around all right just no no i'm, 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 I'm not I'm talking Jeez. about your um your mentality overall just like, all around <laughs> just in life like he lives to make me happy and he puts his best foot forward in that realm so i would Man, I'm, I'm so why do we have to hear this you know sometimes when i see shit like this right here i think like Bro, that is none of our business. None of our business. Why? Right. Why none are you making business. it our business by dropping it online? None of our business. You are making your relationship a talking point in people's lives, and it's none of our business. Because I never in my life thought to myself, man, what was the first time DJ Envy had sex? Yeah, well, like I never, I never thought that. I never thought that. Does DJ Envy make his wife come? I'm sure so many women can relate. Like you want to reward that man for that work and the only reward that you have to offer is an orgasm but yeah. even if i didn't feel it i would still be performative mm -hmm. so yes i was faking it but once you start how do you stop right. how do you climb back out of that rabbit hole you can't really have a conversation about it now so i actually did it to myself but what's more important is the fact that it had nothing to do with him Right. He was doing everything that a man could do to please a woman. The problem was that I didn't know my own body. Mm -hmm. And you couldn't you know, communicate what exactly you wanted. Exactly, exactly. I had to learn that first. And <laughs> what the problem was, I was so busy performing and putting on a show that I didn't take the time to be pleased. I didn't take the time to enjoy it because that wasn't what? my priority. My priority was him. And that comes from a place where, you know, ever since we're young, we're. We're sold these false narratives that women are sex objects. Women are here for the pleasing of men. Oh my God, how did, how did you do that? How did, how did you do the fucking mental gymnastics to blame a patriarchy? That's crazy. She started this by saying that she didn't have much sexual experience before him. Exactly. And now was saying like, all she was taught about sex oh was that God. how you're a sexual object. Bro, what? What I don't understand that. Also, I, again, Jesus, man. Bro, I don't understand why. Not only do we have to hear this information. <laughs> this feels like none of my business, bro. But also, it, it definitely. But also, why does this nigga have to be here with the straightest <laughs> of faces? Now, DJ Envy is like, man, you just really talking bad on my dick, huh? That's crazy. <laughs> and she's like, no, he was doing all that a all man, he can, all, all that a man that can little do. engine kept cutting, and he man. could, and he could, and he think I can, I think I can. I just don't understand why we have to know about this and why does it have to be this explicit to the point where we're now learning that they were, she was faking orgasms with this nigga. And why is she wrote a also book about a book? it, bro? I don't understand Bro, that. I'm banning books, dog. I don't understand. There that. should be a ban on too much vulnerability bro, in books. I don't understand why, like, when, when you're trying to make a book, why do you immediately pivot to this? When there's a tell all, why are you pivoting to the portion of the tell all about sex? Toys, you see it on billboard ads, you see it on the cover of books, you see it in, you know, car magazines, you see it everywhere. Sexy women draped across something, advertising. 
advertising something. So we're kind of um, subconsciously led to believe those things. And for me, this is how it played out in my life. And everything is all good there now, right? Oh yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I figured out my problems. <laughs> hurt my heart though, I ain't gonna lie. I hurt my heart, I, I might have cried a couple of times, but we, we no, it, it, was, it, was a, it, it helped our relationship even better. But on a more serious note, um, me doing that is very, <laughs> What was weird about that for you? Then I'll say what was weird about it for me. He, he was, he literally was like, help this out, help this out, man. You know, I, I, I cried a little bit. Didn't need to know that either. Didn't, DJ Envy, I did not need you to tell me that you was crying once you figured out she was faking it. <laughs> and then she also said, I figured out my problem. I figured out my problem. The part that was weird for me was that he just, he said the first thing all video. And she was like, hold on, hold on. Let me. You're not that good at talking. <laughs> it's not your job or anything like that. Let me talk. Let me talk my talk. I'm selling my book here. Yeah. I'll give her some credit for being, I guess, somewhat open and honest about this because, yes, I think there does need to be a conversation, especially with younger people, about how society can shape you in some fast and some facet. But the reality is, like, we need to get to a point where we also need to take some form of accountability because even though you fall under that umbrella, there's plenty of other people who don't fall under that umbrella, and that's the type of society we need to be moving forward to, where everybody isn't. Because the reality is, like, the media is only doing those things because they know for a fact you as a person fall vulnerable mentally, emotionally. You are vulnerable to certain type of imagery. We need to be pushing the concept of, like, this no, this this dumbed down, watered down version of a relationship that's being thrown on television. It's not going to get me connected to this thing. Very detrimental. And it put into effect the fall of a series of dominoes that hurt our relationship in the absolute worst way. It was actually one of the reasons why he cheated. Mm -hmm. Why did he, why did she look at him like that? Go back, look, look, look how she looked at him. <laughs> say something, say something. I just, I just, say it right say, now. Say it right now. Even though I just cut you off, Say something now, nigga. You cheated. No, Say it. Look apologetic. Yeah, nigga. You don't look apologetic. Come on. Mm. Puppy eyes. Mm. <laughs> mm, yeah. That's better. I did That's cheat. That's better. Get I this cheat. shit right. I cheated. Mm -hmm. So mm. wait, he's mm. a pleaser and he cheated? But apparently he cheated. He's like pleasing all people. So how did that conversation even come about? Like, Envy, were you were like, am I not performing enough? Or, or were you at some point like, you're not? Uh, one night we were in bed and uh, we were having sex. And um, she was just, I don't remember, in the middle of it, she was like, uh, yes, but no. And I'm like, yeah, yes, but no what? Something like that. Yeah, yes, but, yes, but no what? And she, she was like, we got into like a, a argument. And then she was like, well, you know, I don't be having an orgasm. She didn't say it in that. She speaks way more eloquent than I would ever. And I was like, what? And she was like, I don't. I'm like, no, yes, you do. I hear it. Like, ah, ah, ah. And then she was like, no, I'm faking it. I'm like, every time? And she was like, yeah. And then that just crushed me because I thought I was putting in work. Like, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking I'm, you know, Big Daddy Long Leg, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and she's sitting there like, no, no, not at all. So you hear all these stories of women talking about their girlfriend. Oh, girl, he was so short. Oh, girl, he ain't doing nothing. And they, I feel like they laughing. Now I feel like that's what my wife was doing. I actually don't think there's anything wrong with having this conversation with your therapist. Having this conversation. Huh? huh? Uh. What is with going on? Fucking Why? the shade room. Why does? Well, I to tell a book. I'm asking just to ask, but like, Jesus, does this? But why feel like is it even in the book, though? I feel like I'm invading their privacy. I do, this yeah. Video. I actually do feel like, like, I actually feel like we shouldn't even be reacting to this because it's like, why, why are you telling me this? I shouldn't know this. You're giving me information that I wasn't looking for, and even while you're telling me, I'm like, bro, I should not fucking know this shit, bro. You I shouldn't a, even know it. It's like voluntarily waiving like all rights to privacy. They're like, we don't want it. I want everyone to know what we know and what we believe, and I'll update you if anything changes on the shade room. So a lot of people love like makeup sex. And oh, in yeah. my opinion, I feel like it's the most toxic thing ever. And, 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 we, had, and we had had quite a bit of makeup sex. Yeah. And I was over it that day. So I'm like, we didn't even get to the bottom of it. Yeah, you got to talk about it. And then you can make up with yeah, this. You have to get to the point of understanding. Right. Then you can have happy makeup sex. But I was having disgruntled mm -hmm. makeup sex. And yeah. I'm laying there and I'm thinking to myself like, and then it just came out. So what I did, which was wrong, was I weaponized it. There was a time and place okay, well, to communicate how I had felt. There was a way in which to do it. And that is not the decision that I made. I did it to hurt him. 
I did it to spite him. And it made our relationship that much more toxic because now I have a husband with a bruised ego who's looking at me as a wife who's a liar and who not only lied, but lied to him for years. And <laughs> it was- it's blowing my mind how open they're being. It's, yeah, it's, it is. I really can't get over that, it. At that point, I was like, I might be critical of what she's saying, but then she came to the conclusion. I'm like, oh, that's nice. But I'm like, why do like, you keep telling me this shit, dog? I'm a liar, and he can't satisfy me, and I weaponized it. And I'm like, bro, like, she's really dug. She probably went to therapy. Yeah, they probably did go to therapy. Actually. Yeah, 100%. Also, the, what she said on the end is not the most toxic thing to be going on with this shit. Yeah. Like, makeup sex is not the most toxic. You can definitely key cars. Yeah, there's, there's way more toxic Vandalized things. windows. Way, way more toxic things. Or maybe lie, Assault. lie to your husband for several years about you getting an orgasm. <laughs> you getting an orgasm. You can. That's 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 certainly more toxic. And then when you finally do tell him, you weaponize him. Yeah, that's why yeah, I never orgasm yeah, nah, with you. Nah, 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 that's, that's a that's fucked up thing to do. Now I think about it. In in the middle. Why would of you life, even want that for yourself? Yeah, that's crazy. Imagine if you had to do that every day. Every day, she's a glorified actor. Nah, it's, this is Oscar nominated performances. Actually, the more and more I think about it, the more and more I realize it. That's crazy. That's impressive. Like years to, to lie for years. Imagine like two or three times y'all having sex. Two or three times a week. Now she getting the leg twitch down. That's like, crazy. How do you she lie about being? Lie, how do you like, lie about being wet though, bro? Like one, like 160 times a year. Mm-hmm. Bro, she like water bells on the side of her bed. It's like damp in the area. No, she was probably getting wet. She just wasn't coming. I'm just trying to be bold. I, how long had you guys been together at when you had that conversation? At that point, um, I think we were married for Whoa. maybe 17 years ago. So we we're probably 10 okay. or 11 years into our marriage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, you remember. We're- she was lying for over a decade? Shut the fuck up. No, no, nah, that's it. crazy. No, nah, that's crazy. I get it. Make drop a book. No, nah, that's crazy. Break, break nah, that's down. Crazy. A ten year performance. Ten years. That nigga been giving her dick for ten years. Imagine finding out your ten dick was whack for ten years. Ten years, bro. Ten years is crazy. No, nah, that's nuts. No, nah, that's nuts. I ten years. Be, I might actually have to divorce you. Ten <laughs> years, bro. Now you're not about to tell me. You're not, you're, cause I would think you. You waited for ten you years. Waited for ten years. Actually, that is very. That's, that's, that's probably a Guinness World Record. Also, DJ Envy, but they say they both were very inexperienced, so he doesn't really know. Wow, that means he didn't really know what like a, a woman coming actually like felt like, what that was. Shut the fuck up. Why do you care? No, why, why does it sound like no, you no, care? All of a sudden, they, they got you. No, what I'm they asking. Tricked you. Listen, the reason why I'm saying because it's like you're not about to like fake moan to me for ten years. <laughs> when you su- sucking dick and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, last week yeah. you were gargling this shit fine. You were just slurping this up fine. <laughs> now all of a sudden it's like I'm gonna say right now that shit is not turning me on. No, I it know, did. What the fuck? It turned you on. Yes. No, I know my dick is average. You ain't gotta. <laughs> you ain't gotta. You gotta drag it. I know that nigga average. Dog. <laughs> I know that. I know for oh, a fact. That nigga is average. You do not have to start. No, going do not crazy. guess it, bro. If you're if you're not doing something that's working for me, I'm straight facing it. Cause I'm not gonna tell you like that was mid, but you should tell when it's good because I'll you will see a fucking reaction. Yeah, yeah, when you're yeah. giving him bad cues, he's gonna use that as feedback. Yeah. So that now you just and that's life, man. Her being open, people are gonna be able to connect with that. Yeah. And the reality is a lot of people lie. So it's like someone being very vulnerable could be beneficial to somebody. Mm-hmm. I just feel like I just violated their privacy though. So Fact. for me, it's not, I'm not gonna buy the book. But for somebody, they're gonna love the book though, bro. But me, mm-mm. Yeah, that's 